first exposure of the day you have a volcanic rock with an intrusive body here of you can see breccia and uh, with your breccia you have calcite so then over here in contact on the other side you have what looks like a granitic rock so there's weak amounts of mineralization here and uh, this is mostly in some of the angular pieces in your breccia you can see the oxidization which is what's causing the leaching here and then you have small little interwoven sulfide veins such as this Okay, so we have an oxidized piece here on the side of the road with minor amounts of pyrite. But that's not what we're interested in. We have an oxidized outcrop here. which we're going to take a look at. Look at the oxidization. Oxidization, sulfide staining. You got some uh, calcite over there. But up here is what I'm interested in. You can see over here big patch of sulfides there, big patches of sulfides there, more patches there. So we're going to uh, take a big hunk off of this and see what we got out of this. So there's one of the patches of sulfides. Bunch more up there. Okay, we're going to try and get a nice big sample off here. I think that'll do. I don't think we need that much of a sample, but my prospecting partner insists on taking down the whole mountain. Okay, there we go. We got our samples. Let's uh, see what we can find in this big heaping pile. So we are just finding hordes and hordes of samples here. You can see how much we pulled off. Nice big hunks. You can see solid masses of iron pyrite. We're finding some malachite staining in there. Some chalcopyrite. So decent exposure we'll see uh, what it comes back when we send it in for analysis you can see minor amounts of calcopyrite and pyrite some a lot more than others I'd say some of these samples are about 60% mineral pyrite there more pyrite in that sample. So you got lots of solid masses here of sulfides. You can see some green, slight amounts of uh, chalcopyrite giving off uh, a little bit of malachite. And there you have more pyrite. Another solid mass of pyrite. 
So I'm just going to quickly go through these because we're getting eaten alive by mosquitoes here. We're going to take a sample. This is a combined sample over 5 meters. All these here. And we're going to send this in for an analysis and we'll post that as a result at the end of the video. So we've come across another area on a road. New road that's uh, got oxidization on some of the rocks. Don't know where this comes from, but some of the pieces we're finding, you can see have pyrite mineralization. Lots of pyrite disseminated throughout. We're probably gonna pull a quick grab sample from here and see if we can locate the source. You can see disseminated pyrite. We'll probably just quickly catalog this sample here and uh, move on. Okay, so where we're working today is actually the area uh, we staked this a few weeks ago. Covers a quarry that we found, uh, Gossinus rock with decent grades of mineral. And we're on the backside of uh, this tenure and we're looking at new areas where they've logged. We staked a bunch of cells here and uh, we came across another quarry, which was blasted in the last few weeks to a month and there's lots of oxidization on the rocks a little bit of mineralization from what I see so we're just gonna poke around this quarry here see if we can find anything that's uh, worthwhile to sample if not we'll keep going So the best area we've found is sort of this area in the middle of the quarry uh, where it's really oxidized. A little bit of mineralization, a little bit of epidote, but uh, nothing I think is even worthwhile to sample because we found better samples on the road. So we are going to continue on, look for something else. Little bits of uh, mineralization, but not worth the time. A little more goss in here. Some sulfides exposed up there, just minimal. You have uh, little bits of calcite stringers. It's just on the top layer there, there's nothing below. A little bit of epidote in the rock there. More hugely oxidized outcrop here. But this is conglomerate. You can see nice big rocks here. Conglomerate with a uh, looks like a sandy matrix and your uh, your rock here is actually where your oxidization is coming from so probably some of those samples might contain a bit of mineral. We hammered a few open little bits of pyrite but Nothing extensive. More new logging has exposed a nice giant gossinous outcrop. We're going to take a sample across the whole base of this, uh, send it in, see what comes out of that. It's 
So this is a mix of um, sort of conglomerate, but it's mostly gossiness. Hugely oxidized outcrop here. Definitely not Gossin. So, chip sample off of it revealed disseminated pyrite and calcopyrite. Your zone continues over here. And we have hordes and hordes more of oxidized outcrop. You can see how heavily oxidized this lower area is. First sample off shows pyrite mineralization. So we're going to dig a little bit deeper here. Another big sample we're pulling off. I think we can find something in there. So you have little pockets of sulfides here all throughout this exposure and sulfides filling the fractures in the rock and then disseminated sulfides throughout everything. Okay so in case you guys are wondering what the quarry looks like on the other side of the mountain where we found a deposit. Take a look at these. These look like they were actually taken from there and deposited over here near this other quarry. There's three stockpiles of rocks. Uh, doesn't look any of this has uh, anything to do with this. So you can see all the gray. That's solid masses of mineral. You can see the heavily oxidized gossamus rock primarily pyrite mineralization and there is small amounts of calcopyrite mineralization as well. So I'm not sure why they took this from the other place and dumped it here. They can see some mineralization right there disseminated so some of this is disseminated and then you look at this other weird or gray looking stuff and that's just solid masses of mineral. For instance, this is what I mean. Solid masses of mineral. Huge, huge amounts. So some decent looking samples we could pull off here. Alright guys, so I just thought I'd finish uh, off here showing this quarry that we found three weeks a month ago uh, where the massive sulfides are. You can see all the, the grey rock similar to that stuff at the previous area. You can see all the massive sulfides all throughout the rock, all throughout this entire quarry. Then you have your gossiness, rusty oxidized uh, rock, which also contains mineral. So, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. It's been a long day. It's been a 13, 14 hour day. And it's about 9 o'clock at night, so we're heading out. Hope you guys enjoyed. Thanks for watching. And see you later.